Now in today's video, I'm going to take you guys with me to the backwoods of Tennessee to a little place called Grassy Creek. I'm going to answer one of the questions I get all the time on these videos, and that is, where do you get your logs from? Now for the purpose of this video, we're gonna to refer to this gentleman right here as Farmer. Not because he's worried about his name being out there, but mainly because I can't remember it. So what we're seeing here in the video, friends, we got Farmer with his measuring tape. We're measuring out these logs, getting a good scale on them. We're using the Doyle scale here in Northeast Tennessee. That's the most popular scale for timber around here. And he's measuring these off, and I think most of them are eight footers. We had a few 10 and 12 footers as well. And the species of logs right here is Southern Yellow Pine, also called Loblolly Pine. And also the abbreviation you might see sometimes is SYP for Southern Yellow Pine. Now Farmer is not a logger, but he is a landowner. I think he has about 40 some acres here in Northeast Tennessee. And with that comes the responsibility of managing your trees because 90% of his land is timber. Now right here we're looking at some pulp wood, that's some sycamore, looks like some ash mixed in. Also got several pieces there on his flatbed. Most of this right here would go to the pulp wood factory about 40 minutes down the road and some of it for firewood. Now these are some of the yellow pine that I bought off Farmer that day. These aren't the biggest pines in the world, but they're not too bad. They're mostly eight footers. The average diameter was about 15 inches. Limited knots, limited defects, and nice straight saw logs. And we'll make some really good two by fours and two by eights back at the sawmill, which is the reason I bought them. I need more dimensional lumber for the timber frame. Now some people will tell you that the best way to grow a business is word of mouth. And that's no different when it comes to a sawmill owner out there looking for logs. Farmer found me through a mutual friend and that's what it takes sometimes. Getting the word out there that you have a sawmill that needs fed. So if you guys are getting the door slammed in your face and no one is calling you back, hang in there, get out to your local auto parts store diner or tractor supply and let those people know via casual conversation what you're looking for and that you have a sawmill that needs some logs. And sooner than later you will be doing what I do here almost weekly at my sawmill. You'll be turning people down because you have so many logs you can't get to them all. And that my friends is a good problem to have especially if you're a sawyer. Now I work with loggers, foresters, law buyers, tree service companies, just about everyone in all aspects of forestry. And the ones I like working with the most are people like Farmer. You never know when they're gonna call you or show up with logs. And more importantly, you never know what they're cutting. And that for me is the most exciting part. It's like Christmas every time they pull up with a load of logs. And the friendships you develop is even better. But be a better friend than me try to remember their name. 